Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's January 29th, 2024, and we are in the Old Testament book of 2 Chronicles. We're going to read chapter 2 today. So Solomon is beginning work on the temple. He reaches out to the king of Tyr, uh, who our chronicle tells us actually worships God, apparently. And not only that, but when he sends his expert to Solomon to build the temple, that person's mother is Jewish. So some details that we didn't get from Samuel and Kings. So again, even though we're seeing a lot of the same things that we've seen before, we're getting different perspectives of it. We're getting different reasons for why it's written. We're, we're seeing different details. Uh, they're stressing different things. Our chronicler is stressing more good things over, over sins of certain peoples. And again, our chronicler wants these this group of exiles returning from Persia to see themselves in the Bible and see that, hey, you know what, we're part of this story. If we get into obedience, we continue God's plan and God's story. So let's go ahead and we're going to read Second Chronicles chapter 2. Then Solomon determined to build a temple for the name of the Lord and a royal house for himself. Solomon selected 70,000 men to bear burdens, 80,000 to quarry stone in the mountains, and 3,600 to oversee them. Then Solomon sent to Hiram king of Tyre, saying, As you have dealt with David my father, and sent him cedars to build himself a house to dwell in, so deal with me. Behold, I am building a temple for the name of the Lord my God to dedicate it to him, to burn before him sweet incense for the continual showbread, for the burnt offerings morning and evening, on the Sabbaths, on the new moons, and on the set feasts of the Lord our God. This is an ordinance forever to Israel. And the temple which I build will be great, for our God is greater than all gods. But who is able to build him a temple, since heaven and the heavens of heavens cannot contain him? Who am I then that I should build him a temple except to burn sacrifice before him? Therefore send me at once a man skillful to work in gold and silver and bronze and iron and purple and crimson and blue, who has skill to engrave with the skillful men who are with me in Judah and Jerusalem, whom David my father provided. Also send me cedar and cypress and algum logs from Lebanon, for I know that your servants have skill to cut timber in Lebanon. Indeed, my servants will be with your servants to prepare timber for me in abundance, for the temple which I am about to build shall be great and wonderful. Indeed, I will give to your servants the woodsmen who cut timber 20,000 cores of ground wheat, 20,000 cores of barley, 20,000 baths of wine, and 20,000 baths of oil. Then Hiram king of Tyre answered in writing which he sent to Solomon, Because the Lord loves his people, he has made you king over them. Hiram also said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who made heaven and earth, for he has given King David a wise son endowed with prudence and understanding, who will build a temple for the Lord and a royal house for himself. And now I have sent a skillful man and but endowed with understanding, Huram, my master craftsman, the son of a woman of the daughters of Dan, and his father was a man of Tyre, skilled to work in gold and silver, bronze and iron, stone and wood, purple and blue, the fine linen and crimson, and to make any engraving and to accomplish any plan which may be given to him with your skillful men and with the skillful men of my lord David your father. Now therefore, the wheat, the barley, the oil, and the wine which my Lord has spoken of, let him send it to his servants, and we will cut wood from Lebanon as much as you need. We will bring it to you by raft by sea to Joppa, and you will carry it up to Jerusalem. And Solomon numbered all the aliens who were in the land of Israel after the census in which David his father had numbered them, and there were found to be 153,600. And he made 70,000 of them bearers of burdens, 80,000 stonecutters in the mountain, and 3,600 overseers to make the people work. May God bless reading of his word. May God bless you. Bye.